I know everybody promises the best, but this is the one that delivers. We will use two different cooking methods to get to one fantastic ending of pulled pork sandwich. Okay, let's dig in. Now, I've got myself about a cup of water right now. So what I wanna do is take some of my seasoning, which is prime beef, brisket rub. Man, I tell you what, I've made this recipe many times. This is the good season to use on my pulled pork. So basically, I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon or two into the water. Mix it up. And what I want to do is pull it right on into this, and I'm going to inject it into the pork. I want to have some of the seasoning, then I'm going to put on the outside, on the inside also. You can see where it's going to come out, don't let that bother you. We want to get as much of it as we can, working up the sides, look at that. That means I've hit it just about all I need to do. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some mustard. I gotta get this one open because my hands are gonna be dirty. And folks, you can't be afraid to get your hands dirty because they're going to. Just squeeze all on top. Now that's very, very bonding agent basically for your rub. Get it covered real quick. I'm gonna take my rub. Be very generous with it. Cut it very well. I'm gonna show you. There we are. If you want this thing flavorful, you're gonna cover it everywhere and cover it thick. Now, that's gorgeous, folks. Look at that. I've got the meat ready to go, and it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Now, first thing we're going to do is have to put the, put the temperature probe in. This uh, Pit Boss smoker right now that I've got preheated to 225 degrees, which we'll show you in just a moment. I'm putting the, the, the probe into it. We're going to open the door. You can see all that smoke bellowing out. That's beautiful. That's what you want to see. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my probe. Okay, there you go. Now, we're going to take the meat. All I'm going to do is just place it into the smoker. I'm not leaving the pan in there. I don't need the pan. So, put the meat in there. We're going to close the door up. Folks, we'll come back out here and let you see what it looks like in between the hours. But I'm looking at about three hours of smoking time at the uh, 200 the video so far. So, I want to show you what the actual pork is looking like. And we're gonna open up the doors. I don't like them too long, but whoo, let the smoke out. You can see just how good the pulled pork is. The season that I used on the injection is starting to come out. It's looking great. You can see the temperature is still about 225. Well, let's get this door closed and uh, we're gonna move forward and finish cooking this baby down. It's been exactly three hours since we put this in here. Now I'm gonna open it up and wow, it's looking good. Now the internal temperature of that meat is perfect at 146 degrees. That little disc so we're done with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull, pull that out. Don't need it no more. I'm taking this roast and I'm just gonna slide it into my pan. It's a heavy one, so it's not easy to move. The second part of my cooking is the slow cooker. That's where this is gonna take this meat and turn into what we want as far as our pulled pork goes. So, we're just gonna fry that pork in there. Now, I'm gonna add me a little bit of chicken broth. It ain't much. I just want there to be some fluid on the inside. I'm pouring it around the outside. I'm gonna say it's probably a good half a cup. And let's turn the machine on. I'm gonna close it on up. I'm gonna put it on a slow setting, low and slow. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna take it from the slow cooker 
and turn it all into pulled pork. Now, the lid hasn't been off of this in almost four hours. Look at that. That is beautifully cooked. The, the smell, everything pouring out of that, out of that slow cooker is just amazing. Because what we have is the best of both worlds. That pit boss smoker is the bomb, guys. Now, got it out. Gonna move that out the way. Now we're gonna start taking chunks. Look at this thing. Everything is just falling. You always hear, you like meat when it falls off the bone. Well, folks, look at this. It's literally falling off the bone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in this bowl because, ooh, it's hot. Being cooked that long, look at the tenderness of it. Everything is so, so good. So we're just gonna keep pulling pieces of it apart, letting it all cool. Ouch. And we're gonna come back in just a couple minutes and I'm gonna show you how to finish this meal on up. We got it cooled down a little bit. It ain't scorching the skin off my fingers no more. So we're gonna work with it now. Now, this is the part that a lot of people will leave the fat on. And I'm sorry to tell you, I'm not one of them people. I like my fat off. So what I do is I just barely pull apart what I need to in the big chunks. Just stick it in this container here. This is it. Look at that. You can see the ring. Look at that smoke ring right there. All that flavor goes into the uh, pulled pork. That's why some people slow cook it. They're missing the boat unless they're, they're, they're doing both of them. You gotta smoke it and slow cook it. Nice to cool it off. I got the fat off of it. Look folks. The meat is so tender, it tastes nothing at all. Literally, when I say pulled pork, look at that. There is no work into that. It just all yanks apart. And that beautiful red meat, look at that. All that's gonna be mixed in with that. It's finally cooled off to where I could touch it though, because a minute ago it was way too hot. Look at that. It's literally where I can just mash it. Now, as I get all this pulled apart, I'm gonna be using the barbecue sauce on it next. When I'm mixing the barbecue sauce into this meat, it's gonna finish pulling it apart. So, if you're saying, oh my God, he ain't pulling it apart enough, believe me, it's enough. There we go, nothing left. Now, let me wash my hands. We're gonna be mixing this up and we'll be right back. All right, everything is ready to go. My last ingredients, Big Mike's Barbecue Smokehouse, the original. This one right here is fantastic. Look at that, it's so good. There's my kitty cat, ah, ah, get back. There's a cat trying to get in my food. Look, pour it slowly on there. Get it all nice and juicy. Now, we're just gonna mix it up with a spoon. You can hear how wet that meat is now. See, remember a couple of minutes ago I told you, you're gonna see how it's gonna finish coming apart when you put the sauce on. Now, you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. If you like that thick uh, molasses barbecue sauce, you can use that. Personally, I like the thin stuff, the light barbecue. This is it, folks. This is the bomb.